Asian art was inside me somehow because I was dragged through galleries when I was little. My connection with art is entirely really from my father. First piece of serious art that my wife and I purchased together. We were with a very old dealer, extraordinary, super private guy, never advertised. You had to kind of go up to his flat. Like an idiot, I said, uh, oh, do you have any chairs with the spindles? Probably at that time, not realizing that there were only four in the world. He looked at me and just smiled, probably against his better judgment, off he went and came back with this chair. I think he'll probably live with us for as long as I am around, for sure. Without the person who makes that personal link with any piece of art, it's nothing. Lu Dan is a Chinese artist. He is rebuilding the bridges to, to the past of Chinese painting. I'm very, very attached to the small drawing of a dictionary. I just, I love the fact that I have a study of something that I've seen all the other large versions of that basically helped to launch a career. It's something very, very intimate between him and the piece, which I'm allowed to tap into. The Lingby Scholar's Rock, it, it was with another couple of pieces, the catalyst towards putting together an exhibition of Scholar's Rocks. Whilst that was going on, there were a lot of rocks in the house, to be fair. And my wife said, you know, it's enough with the rocks. And a very good friend of mine falls in love with this particular rock. And I said, hey, Debbie, I sold a piece from the exhibition. She said, great, I, you know, uh, what did you sell? And I said, the Lingby rock with the hole in the middle. She said, that's mine. So I phone up my friend and I say, uh, let's uh, find you another rock because otherwise I'm gonna have to get divorced. Just recently, there's a very famous a pop sculptor called Clive Barker has made a version in bronze. It's breathed new life into both the, the new piece and the old piece. It's, it's something extraordinary. Here's, here's a, a rock that was created by nature over millions of years. That someone decided was worthy of turning into an art piece. And it's, I don't know, it's alchemy. I'm not a great believer in fate, but that's, you know, I thought there must be a reason why we have to live with that. You only really know how important a piece of Chinese furniture is in a room when you take it out. It brings the integrity to the room without shouting, without saying, look at me, I'm gold, or look at me, I'm carved. It says, this is, a real room.